Brothers and sisters, God is good. All the time. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you all guests, visitors, and friends to our first Sunday of Advent, a time of waiting for coming of the Messiah, the Emmanuel in our midst. Also our Thanksgiving Sunday to express how grateful we are for the many blessings we receive every day. May the Lord touch our hearts today where you could turn to somebody whom you have not met before and say thank you for coming today. May God bless you. Let us continue to worship God and may ask the youth and young adults to light the first Advent candle. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. Yes, 
We light this candle as a symbol of Christ our hope. May the light sent from God shine in the darkness to know what's the way of salvation. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Let us stand, if you are able, to join our hearts as we bring our song of praises, led by the grace band. Here I am to worship, here I am to worship. 
to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. King of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created, all for the sake became poor. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. I'll never know. How much it cost to see my sin upon that cross. I'll never know how much it cost to see my sin upon that cross. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Let us remain standing as you are able, as you read responsibly our scripture found in Isaiah chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, in days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. shall judge between the nations, and they shall arbitrate for many people. They shall beat the plowshares and their spears in the pruning hook. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. How Jacob come and let us walk in the light of the world. May the Lord bless the reading of this word. I'll be seated at this time.
Well, it's a blessing to see you all here today. And if you feel so great, let me sh show of two thumbs up. Are there two thumbs up in here? <laughs> and those who did not, I don't know, that's questionable. <laughs> but anyway, God is good. And we are all here today. And it's a blessing that, yeah, we can see each other face to face and uh, be you know, in this group of wonderful people. And also, of course, we would like to uh, recognize those who are on the Zoom. I know I got some limitations out there, but thanks be to God for this wonderful time that we can be together. Though it's in a virtual, I know that our hearts are entwined, our hearts are connected, and we still keep that love that comes from above. So again, God bless you. Today is a wonderful time to celebrate many things. So this season is really appropriate for giving thanks and be with family. You know, it's a Thanksgiving. But you know what? Uh, it's not only in your own families that we experience uh, wonderful things and celebrate. But as a church here, we have a lot of wonderful things that we can celebrate. And today is one of those. So we are giving thanks to God and uh, offer our thanksgiving. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity, and, and it's an honor for me and the church to have come and meet somebody. I believe that this is a divine providence to meet somebody who has a gracious heart. And now she is a part of our building she's a part of our area and you know what we've been uh, we've been thinking been praying as to how we can make use well of our part our area downstairs and lo and behold here comes uh, somebody who's been asking for a place to do her passion and uh, just when the little star uh, is uh, on moving, uh, moving out, <clears throat> and God took care of it, and someone came. And you don't know, it's not just something that I felt that it's just hello and goodbye and welcome, but there is a great feeling on this very uh, wonderful chapter of our uh, journey together so what else can i say but god has blessed us not only to fill the gap but bless us with a gracious and wonderful heart that exudes well not only for self but for others so i would like to take this opportunity i asked some uh, this person if she can share with us her bit of her story of how she put all these things and made it realize and place it in this area downstairs so i would uh for, without further ado i'd like to ask uh, our dear sister <laughs> stephanie yip to please come up here and let's meet her <laughs> And before she does anything, I'd like to ask him to please come up and uh, and show the expression of our uh, welcoming. Uh, maybe uh, she is our representative from the younger uh, faces <laughs> of our church. So uh, we have uh, uh, pieces of roses in there. Maybe one of those uh, we can. And just the yeah, just a little expression of our uh, welcoming you in here. You can come up here and uh, do yeah, yeah, your microphone.
Don't give up on us, Mike. Thank you, Pastor Alex. I appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. I, um, good morning. <laughs> I don't feel like I've leveled up enough to be, um, I'm, not, I'm not promoted, so <laughs> I don't think I should be standing up there, but I'd love, I'm so honored to be here today and um, uh, meet you all in person. Um, the journey started about a year ago uh, for me. Um, I'm happy to go back further, um, but I essentially um, was a behavior therapist in my early career. I graduated from UC Irvine in 1995. Um, I worked for a behavior therapist company and I worked with children on the autism spectrum for about 15 years. I provided um, in-home services for children that had trouble speaking and making friends and communicating with others. So I found this calling for bringing families together. Um, one of the stories that I shared with Pastor Alex a little while ago was um, a gut-wrenching, heart-wrenching moment when I was working with a student and I tried very hard for him to make friends and um, be accepted in his classroom community. And the mom worked up enough courage to ask her son's friend to come over for a play date. And uh, the other mom essentially rejected her son and the family because uh, the son was a little bit um, awkward, interesting had some funny quirks and it broke our hearts as a team of therapists who were working so hard to find relationships. Um, I'm sure you know as a church community, it's so important to have uh, a community, right? It's important to have people and group that you belong to and belong with. So from there and, and that moment, I realized um, that was my passion. That was something that I wanted to do. It, it was something that I felt um, uh, pride in, bringing groups together and bringing families together. Um, from there, my journey took me to early childhood education, where I worked with families at risk um, who had trouble talking or um, any kind of uh, early onset issues that might lead them to um, have trouble communicating with others. So I, I teamed up with the Golden Gate Regional Center here in San Francisco. I worked as an early interventionist and I drove from home to home and provided in-home care for these children. Um, my children are part of the community. We moved to the Outer Sunset neighborhood of San Francisco in 2010. Um, my children attended Francis Scott Key, and I found great passion in working with the families that were part of my children's school. So I took some time away from work, and I volunteered day in and day out, and on weekends too, at my children's um, elementary school, kind of doing any PTA work that was necessary. Um, and then I took a, a little bit of time off to be with my children and raise them. Um, obviously COVID affected all of us. Uh, so we decided that it was time for us to embark on a new journey. My children um, became a little bit older and I decided uh, it was time for me to step up in my career, so to speak. My passion is working with children. My passion is working with families. Um, my daughter is a performing artist. She's a dancer. She goes to Stardance Studio up on 9th and Moraga. And uh, the, the story goes that I usually walk, um, or we usually drive down Santiago um, to get from her ballet class to home. We live about 10 blocks away from here. 
Um, but the one day that we decided to take Terraval Street, I noticed that there was a little bit of furniture hanging out on the sidewalk. And um, I had known that I had wanted to open up a preschool. Um, this 2022 was the year that we decided it was gonna happen. And so earlier in the year, January, February, March, I um, took all of my ECE courses and um, prepared for the licensing. Um, and I apologize, I'm jumping around a little bit in my story, but uh, as I was driving down with my daughter in the car, I noticed some furniture on the sidewalk at Terraval, and I got so excited. Um, I just had a feeling, and I kind of knew that something was happening at the Little Star. Um, I knew that Little Star was a figment or a pigment of um, a pillar of the community. It was established here. It had been here for a very long time. Um, so I was just curious. I inquired with Little Star and they redirected me to the church. Uh, I got in touch with um, Pastor Alex and the very next day he invited me to come and see the school and I knew there was a lot of work to do, but I loved it. I loved every bit of it. Um, I fell in love with the space. I fell in love with Pastor Alex, who's so incredible and so warm and uh, welcoming. And then um, that's when our journey began. We started reconstruction in August of this year. We remodeled the school and poured our hearts into um, creating a space that was warm and welcoming and open for families. Um, I would really love to extend an invitation to all of you to come downstairs and see our space and um, use it uh, because it is part of your church it is um, part of your home too um, i'm just so honored and so blessed to be here i feel um, very similar sentiment that pastor alex feels in that there's some sort of divine providence that's happening um, things are bringing us together uh, I had some experience in home staging. <laughs> I also had some experience in um, construction work. So these little uh, bits and um, steps that I took in my own personal life has led me to this moment in time where I feel like I can apply all of the little things that I've learned into um, putting the school together. So I do feel like um, this is where I'm supposed to be. Um, I welcome you all to come downstairs at any time. Uh, our doors are always open and I'm always welcoming of um, anyone who would like to come in and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and uh, chat with me. I um, recognize that there are incredibly large shoes to fill with Little Star moving out. Um, they were a pillar in the community and I recognize that um, they did an incredible job bringing the community together. So I will work very hard to try to fill those shoes. I, I may or I may not, but um, I will do my best. Um, happy to answer any questions that you might have about our space or myself or our program um i should tell you that we are a performing arts specializing in dance theater and music type of preschool um, we have paid professional actors and dancers and musicians who come in and teach the students um, all of those disciplines that is incorporated into the curriculum um, in addition to the very strong academics that we have. So again, I just welcome you all. I um, appreciate so much that you've welcomed me as well. I am so grateful to um, everyone here. The entire church has been incredible and um, I will earn your trust. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Stephanie, for that. And again, let's have another, another look at her. <laughs> this is our friend. This is our friend, our sister. And we're blessed with her presence and uh, her family are just wonderful. And uh, I see that the support and love is really felt today because uh, she's with her mom, uh, Candy. She came from LA just to be here. So we welcome Candy for God bless you. And it's not yet done. <laughs> We have something for you here. <laughs> and I was looking for the, there's an envelope, but that envelope is a mis <laughs> still, yeah, we will uh, give it to you. But this is an expression of our love as a, from, from our church. This is from our church. A, a little token, but hope you keep it and treasure it. And our love and prayers go with you. Oh, thank you. I always <laughs>
We've always been graced with many wonderful uh, blessings here in our life and ministry of our uh, faith community. And one of which is uh, the messages coming from the choir. So I believe uh, God be, has blessed us with uh, such gift that our brothers and sisters can uh, offer uh, to make uh, to make our uh, uh, what we call our ministry uh, alive and well. And what a blessing! Thank you, choir, for that. And uh, you know they say that uh, when you sing, you pray twice. And that's what we uh, experience. We are closer. Uh, we're closer with God uh, through music. But again, uh, let's continue to support and pray for our uh, uh, choir. Thank you, Sister Irene, for uh, leading. God bless you. Today, it's good news. I'm not going to preach. <laughs> And uh, when pastors with experience, you know, they preach not only this much, but this, this much. So, uh, but because of, uh, you know, many encounters and because of their faith journey, uh, they share more of that. But today, it's a wonderful uh, moment for us to see others uh, in their lives, in their family circles, in their journey. Uh, we could see how God is working and how they uh, uh, face life each day. And uh, thank God that we have families, young families in our midst who can attest to how good God is in their lives. So I invited some, I asked uh, some of them and they can, and they said yes, and they can uh, share what uh how good god is in their lives so today i'd like to ask uh, uh, crystal and richard de guzman and their little uh jam uh ronan to come up here uh, to share uh, how good god is in their lives <coughs> Hi, Ronan. Glad to see you here up front. I think you're the youngest uh, one to say something. <laughs> Rich and Thank you, Pastor. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, just want to say first, I'm thankful that God uh, helped me go first. Because <laughs> we are uh, debating on who's going to go first. So, uh, but, you know, usually it's women first. But, uh, you know, best for last, right? So, um, but uh, this year has been amazing. A little bit of a roller coaster, but, uh, you know, I'm just thankful that God uh, blessed us with Ronan, um, a healthy boy, um, you know, a sweet boy. I'm thankful that he's just, you know, in, um, in a home where, where he sees lots of love, um, cause I think, you know, for, for a boy at his age, seeing love is, is, is key to, to the growth. Um, you know, I'm, I'm also just very thankful of, of Crystal, um, you know, being an amazing, uh, support system to, 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 to what I want to do. And especially during this career change and just being very supportive of, uh, of me. And, and it, it was a plus because I was able to spend a lot more time. Um, with Ronan and, and, and growing to, to be a, to fa a, a father, um, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for this year because um, I know next year is, 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 is going to be full of blessings and um, also thankful for, for Pastor Alex, you know, also your support, you know, being there for, for us and every time, you know, we come to church and you're, you're warm, you're, you're welcome, just 
ah, you know, and, you know, the hugs we share, right, you know, and also to Stephanie, you know, thank you, uh, you know, for, for choosing our church, um, you know, being a kid that also was lost at a young age, I know all too well with what you're doing, um, so, you know, amazing thing that, that you're here, especially in this community, so thank you. Um, wish you the best of luck, so thank God for that. Um, but yeah, no, I just, honestly, it's just uh, very thankful for God. And, and you know, this amazing family. Yeah. Now your turn's scary. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm Crystal. For Thanksgiving week, pastor asked me to share what I'm thankful for. And when I thought about it, I immediately thought of my son, Ronan. Hi, baby. Once he was born, my life changed. My thinking, my perspective, I put him before myself. I now know a love that I've never known possible. And I thank God for the blessing of being a mom. Not only am I thankful that he's oh so sweet, but I'm thankful that he's also healthy. I work with really sick babies, some who have injured kidneys at birth and need dialysis every day, or who have immature lungs and need a ventilator for weeks to breathe, or who are born with a stroke and have abnormal brain activity, or who are born with heart defects and need open heart surgery as a baby. So I am all the more grateful that Ronan is healthy. Watching him grow, develop new skills, and begin to show affection is truly, truly a blessing. Thank you, God. But aside from my son, whom I can go on and on about, I am thankful for my husband, Rich. We just celebrated our three-year wedding anniversary last week. Oh. Thank you. But we've been together for a little more than a decade. <laughs> Through the years, we've only become closer. And I am grateful for our growth, our love, our laughs, and everything in between. I'm also thankful for my parents, who never cease to care for me, and for my sisters, who are my lifelong friends. I'm thankful for our baby girl, Chloe, our dog, my extended family, my friends, my church family, a community that has helped raise me and guide me on my spiritual journey since childhood. I'm also grateful for the things I have, disposable diapers, a job I enjoy, health insurance, a car to drive, more than enough clothes and shoes and bags and gadgets than I really need. And I thank God for these blessings. And then I'm thankful for the basics, waking up in the morning, the ability to smile, the ability to breathe comfortably, to move, to walk, to run, to speak, to smell a fragrant flower, to see the vibrant colors of a rainbow, to hear the sounds of a beautiful song, to feel the joy of simply basking in the sun, to be conscious, to be present, to eat without assistance, to have food, a place to sleep, a home. The list goes on. I'm thankful to not really know hunger or the worry of where to sleep at night or the concern of how I'm going to stay dry and warm when it rains. There are so many in the world with these worries, even our neighbors. So although it's easy to take these things for granted, I am reminded that these small things we are able to do and have are actually big things some people in the world only dream of doing and having. So this Thanksgiving season, I am grateful for God's blessings, big and small. Let us all be reminded of the small things and may we delight in them.
for they actually are not small at all, but are each remarkable blessings. And we all have an abundance of them. Thank you. Rich and Crystal, what a blessing for us to have you here. But on behalf of the church, a handshake of love and support to you as you continue in your journey. You're still young, parents, not of age, but uh, we, we are for you and for this wonderful little child, Ronan. God bless you. Go on your way with God's peace. And another uh, young family here, I think I, I am making uh, some typos in our program or bulletin today, but uh, uh, my apologies for that, but I'm calling right now, maybe Kelly, sorry I am making a typo in your name as well, so <laughs> I'm going to ask Kelly, plus uh, the better half and the little one for us to see them. You know, that they are willing and gracious in sharing their journey at this time. And there is Cameron. We always see him come, being our youngest acolyte. You know, lighting the candles up there. And he's one of those who is handling it. So. This is another young family here in our... Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I would just like to say I'm very thankful for Cameron, Kelly, and Kelly's family who brought me to this church. Um, and just for all the support that your family has given me, um, especially, you know, with Cameron, it's very it's been very difficult for me to you know watch him you know I work I work from home and so I just I'm very thankful for your support uh, and also um, Kelly's sister who also helps me and you know she lives with us so it's been such a I'm very grateful that you are living with us and you know also helping me uh, raise Cameron here <laughs> See how he's very, he really wants to kiss Ronin. Uh, <laughs> so he's, I'm very thankful that he's very friendly. You know, growing up as a, you know, pandemic baby, we, he grew up like right when pandemic started. And he's very friendly and likes to hug and um, kiss babies. <laughs> so very cute. And uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm actually, I forgot that pastor asked me last week um, to speak in front of everybody, but thankfully Thanksgiving just passed and I was reflecting upon this uh, this past week and on Thanksgiving especially, just how blessed we truly are to kind of just wake up every day. Um, I told my mom at Thanksgiving, like, oh, you're the best mom ever, just because growing up, she was a single mother and she had support from, of course, her parents but now that I am a parent myself it is crazy to see how much she was able to do with us with just one person compared to like having my amazing wife with us uh, with me um, yeah we really wanted to just show appreciation to even the church because I feel like this was probably the only social interaction that Cameron got during the pandemic when everything opened up at first and we were concerned that, oh, Cameron might be shy or he might not want to talk to everybody or not show love or be scared. But instead, the opposite has happened. <laughs> and he's extremely loving to everyone. He always wants to make friends. And I think it's definitely because at the church, he feels everyone's love and affection and um, how everybody is kind to each other. And I think he takes that in and he can express it as well because he sees it being expressed at the church. Um, 
I want to say, of course, that I'm thankful for my wife who has challenged me every day just to kind of be a better person of who I am. And I hope that I also challenge her to become the best person that she can be. And of course, it's not, it's not possible without like even our family at home. So when me and Kim have to work, I work a swing shift at the hospital from three to 11. She has to work from home from like two to eight. So we are blessed enough to have our family who lives about 15 minutes away that can watch Cameron and kind of show the same values that we care about and that we love and instill in us that we can give to him so that he has a foundation of, of how to act as a good human being, which is the, honestly the most important thing to me. I just wanted to show him like how to be a good person is, is always my main concern. I want, I want him to know that he's always going to be loved and I want him to share that love with everybody else. And I'm just thankful for all of you guys here for spending your time here and kind of um, show, showing Cameron love as well. So thank you all. Again, dear brothers and sisters, here is the young family, Kelly, Kim, and Cameron. Let's give God the glory. Amen. Thank you. And now another typo. Yeah, I, I, I miss putting the names in there, but uh, I, I remember that I talked to them uh, previously. And this, uh, this uh, couple will be recognized as new members of the church later in our service. And what a blessing to have them come. They will be uh, a promising parent. Uh, right now, we are praying that someday, soon, they will have their own family. So let's welcome and have them share their, their, how, why they are thankful uh, today in, to God. So David and Chriselle, please come. Um. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm thankful for everything. Since I was born, we were born without anything, so everything I have is a gift from God. Um, but I'm thankful that I have a place to go home at night and that I'm here today. So thank you for everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Chriselle, this is David. Um, we have a lot to be thankful for and I think um, reflecting on this season, we think a lot about our community and the people who have come into our lives who are really the strong pillars of, you know, just our growth. Or I'll speak about myself, he, can, he already said his thing, so. <laughs> um, just our growth, um, I think, a year ago is when we started coming to church here, and I want to say I'm very grateful because David knows, and Kim knows, because Kim and I are very good friends, about how angry I was with the church in general for a really long time from just previous experiences. And so I just want to say thank you for being the community that you are. Um, I don't want to cry. <laughs> um, Um, but um, the image of God in this community is so strong, and I just want to say thank you. You've welcomed myself and my husband, my family, my students that I work with, and every time I come here, I'm amazed by how the Holy Spirit moves in this church. Um, I want to say... <laughs> Thank you to Kim specifically for asking me year after year to come here. Oh, thank you, Pastor. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. He gave me the whole thing. Uh, I want to say thank you for all those years 
you asked me to come, I think that the Holy Spirit was moving because you just kept asking. And I think, you know, with Tita Nora and how she was so honest about her life and her experiences and like seeing her as a woman of faith, um, it encouraged me even more to come. And then just the whole marker and Baluyot family for just being such a huge integral part of my faith for the last year. I'm just really grateful. Um, <laughs> but I'm thankful to be part of this church. I'm thankful that Dave and I get to be members here. I'm thankful that um, that this community has you um, because even if it's not, you know, it's such a wonderful and warm community and it took me so long to get here. <laughs> Um, I think that, you know, the way that God intends to use this community is a very strong and powerful force. And I have no doubt in my mind that God is here and he is present and that he is so um, near in this space. And so I'm so grateful to be blessed by this space and to know that it will, be, it will continue to be a blessing as it continues to grow. So thank you so much for having us <laughs> and for being used by God. Now who's taller? <laughs> but no, our our hearts would love to welcome you with open with open arms and hearts. Rest assured, we are here for you. Thank you you are not by yourselves. We are here for you. So God bless you and thank you for deciding and be part of our faith community. Take care. Yeah. All right, let's give them again a big, big hand. Praise God for the touching message you shared to us today. I bless and hope you do too. As a response, let us offer our gifts, tithes, tithes, our offerings, big or small, to help those who are in need. We will now hear the gift of music. May the ushers come. Hello? Hello, okay. I 
You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. All my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath. I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after. It's running after. God. God. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Lord, for these offerings. May you bless it to make big difference in this imperfect world. Amen. Let's all be seated at this time. I now ask the each one of us to pull, pull something, a hymnal out from the pews, something uh, similar like this. There are different colors. We have blue, we have red, and we have uh, purple. So they're the same, it's just uh, the color. But please turn to page 40, uh, 40, 47. And before we start, I would like to ask uh, those who, whom we are going to accept, recognize as new members of the church, I'd like to ask uh, David and Chriselle Potter to please come up here. And also uh, Manang, uh, uh, Ms. Preserpina, Manang Pina E to please come up here. Yes, ma'am. Give face to you. 
As you will see, Manang Pina, I believe that you have not met her before, but she has been here in our uh, church uh, one Sunday and uh, was a wonderful uh, time that we can have her and, and share our wonderful uh, ministries. And uh, you don't know that we have a little group that we call a Wednesday group. And this is a kind of a group where we pour out ourselves, our hearts, and just uh, experience what tough love means. And uh, Manang Pinas have been into many, and uh, one of those of which, uh, you know, she still, you know, got that wounds of losing her uh, other half in the past pandemic. And so in those, we uh, been uh, into kind of a support, been into connecting and uh, uh, openly understand and openly understand and embrace uh, the group. So we continue to have that until now. So we have that Wednesday group available and, and every week and uh, because of that we have established our connection and uh, she's a very wonderful uh, person that has a gracious heart and one of which is that one time we asked if she would like to be part of our church and she actually shouted of course pastor I would like to be part of uh, the, the church. So I was excited at uh, that time to know that she would love to be part of our faith community. She's from Pittsburgh, that distance. But yes, Mana. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And thank you, Pastor, for having me and for uh, welcoming me to your church. Uh, before we proceed, I would like you to continue with what you're doing um, after I, I speak, okay? Yes. But I don't want to uh, miss my uh, train of thought here. I want to say thank you to you, Griselda, Grisel, Grisel, for what you have shared at church today. And uh, I, I want to follow suit. I would like to share with you what I'm, I am thankful for. When I was a little girl, um, I, I did not have much of um, time with my family, with my parents, maybe with my mother for um, many reasons that uh, you will need to sit down with me to, to talk about that. But one thing that I'm extremely, extremely thankful for that I want to share with you is that when I was a little girl, when I was in the creek playing and looking at all the fishes, hello there, when I was playing in the creek, looking at the fishes, the shrimps, the uh, crabs, the uh, stones in the creek. And the sun, for a part uh, particular reason, shone it, the, the, the sun shone on the creek. That's OK. He's welcome. And at that magical moment, or I should say holy moment, I felt God's presence. I felt that God loved me. And I felt that everything that I saw was mine. And it was so beautiful. Everything was so beautiful. And that feeling of love and feeling of God's presence stayed with me. And it can never, ever, ever go away. So that's what it is that I'm thankful for. And I think God has been leading me all along because God led me here. And today I was so touched by you because it's so important that we do have community. And you said community. And you had taught me another good lesson today just by listening to you. It is a must that we do exercise our will 
to be kind and to be present to each other. And you gave me that today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. And to Grisel and David, what a gift. Thank you for saying yes with the, uh, with the invitation, sending the invitation for you to be part of this faith community. They have been with us for a year now. And since then, our connection grew uh, closer and stronger. And if I ask Grisel to lead in some of the youth activities, she said yes. I think she uh, she thinks that, yeah that's the uh, she believes that's the voice of God coming through me as a servant of the Lord. So what else can we say? But we want to receive you quick because we need you <laughs> all of you today. But thanks be to God for that spirit. And for that, I would like to ask. Uh, so please uh, uh, hold your uh, book and let us uh, continue in our uh, page 48 in the reception into our uh, faith community. Bless us, Lord, as we uh, open our doors of this faith community and especially our hearts as we recognize this our brother and sisters who would like to be part in the ministry through this grace uh, church. So I ask now, Lord, to uh, guide and lead us. And may we feel the indwelling of the Holy Spirit as we uh, welcome them in our midst. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, here is uh, David and Chriselle. And here... David, Chrisel, and Manang Pina, whom we this day receive into the membership of this congregation or faith community, do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. Will you respond? Christ, Holy Church, and bid you welcome to this congregation of the United Methodist Church. With you, we renew our vows, uphold it, by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service. With God's help, we will so order our lives after the examples of Christ, that surrounded by steadfast love, we may be willing in this faith to Before I give the blessing, I'd like to ask uh, Sister Nora uh, marker as the representative of our church since she is here and she is the Ad Council Church and other leaders of our church. I think we have the youth uh, group. We have Jordan as the president. And any representative from the young adult, will you please come up here too? Young adult. And we have uh, Brother Rod also. 
Will you come up here? You didn't come. And I believe Carla is one of those too, and, uh, from the outreach uh, here. And we have our choir, Mr. Irene. Over here. Well, I'd like to in this place right now for our uh, uh, our new members of our church to uh, greet you and let this be an opportunity to uh, let you feel the expressions of our love. We have the church through these leaders as we ex extend our hands, a handshake of welcoming and uh, uh, bringing you in into uh, the, this faith community. And so. Uh, and we have a gift for you. a little token uh, that we thought we can offer as a sign of uh, you so welcome in this place and it's just the beginning so <laughs> this is for you yeah. so our brothers and sisters here are our new members of the church welcome them welcome them yeah. and so with this uh, we pray Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you. This is the day that you have made for us to be together. Thank you for your children. Thank you for your children that come and uh, express their love for you. And we welcome them and thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Feel at home. So for our closing hymn, oh no, not before that, we have a prayer together. So if you may, will you please uh, hold to your uh, bulletins and uh, and there's the readings of our joys and concerns. If you have any, uh, please do so uh, at this time for our concerns to our uh, Zoom, brothers and sisters, and here, and let's collectively uh, share those, and let's have a, a word of prayer afterwards. As far as on my list is concerned, we have uh, uh, Mrs. Trinidad Barroza still uh, recovering, and she's back home. Let's continue to pray for her uh, at this time. Uh, Pastor Alex. Yes, Sister Lillian. Yeah. Um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And um, I thank you for each and every one of you and welcome to the new members as well. And mm -hmm. Stephanie and your mom, nice um, that you're um, able to join the worship service today. Just a prayer request for my dad. Please continue to pray for him. He came out of the hospital on Thanksgiving Day. He's doing a little better but um, he still has quite a ways to go. Also for my cousin, Sam in Texas, he's not doing well. So if you could keep praying for him, he developed a, um, an ulcer where they did the surgery 
and he's still not able to eat or drink. So um, we need, he really needs our prayers. And I thank you for all those who've been praying for him, but, but please continue to pray for him. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Sister Lillian, for sharing. And also, let's keep uh, uh, Madam Luz uh, uh, in our uh, prayer as uh, she continues to uh, hold and live each day. Uh, may God continue to uh, sustain her and bring in her the spirit of joy and peace. And for the strength uh, for those who uh, take care of, of her sister Joyce and for the caregivers uh, Renee and uh, Myrene. She, uh, we went there to uh, also uh, celebrate her 94th birthday, 93rd, I'm sorry, I'm 93rd birthday last uh, Wednesday and it was a joy and a blessing to be with her. So let's uh, give thanks for her life and uh, for, uh, let's continue to pray for her. Pastor. Oh, yes, Ati Chadeng. I just, I, I want us to continue praying for uh, my relative, the one that has scoliosis, um, and my niece, uh, who is she had some liver uh problems she doesn't need a transplant but they are improving uh my my cousin the one that's totally disabled we just pray that while she is alive and i continue to you know we continue to pray for a long life that she has quality of life she now needs an oxygen tank or she needs that they need to put give her oxygen regularly so you recognize that something is failing but right now you know she she's very grateful for her life and we do pray that her that she maintains the quality of life while she with the life that god has given her i do want to say I, I'm just uh, welcome to the new members. We know them, you know, we see them, but welcome. And I also wanted to say how I was so um, impressed with the different uh, testimonies that was given uh, regarding, you know, the, the, uh, those that are very thankful for their lives. I think of Christelle and, you know, her new family and, uh, all of us, but it was it was wonderful hearing each and every one of them. You know, I I can't remember all of them, but I was just very impressed, and I was heartwarmed, really, just to hear it all. So thank you. Thank you, Atchade. What's your uh, niece name? Uh, Angelina, and then the the relative, the cousin is Sonia, the one that's with scoliosis. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Pastor. Hello, Sister Joyce. Hi, how are you? We're good. Uh, Pastor, I am asking, well, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you uh, for coming to my mom's birthday. And she was just letting you know that she's so thankful and she was so very happy. Yeah. And you guys came. Yeah. And he, it, you brought smiles to her yeah. face. And since Monday last week, she's been talking about her birthday and how she's going to see her church friends. And I am so thankful for that. For a minute, for a moment, you have made her smile so happy and she even forgot that she's having some issues but you know i am thankful for my church family 
Um, also, I'd like to ask for prayer for me because I am having um, pain on my back, my shoulder, my neck, and goes up to my head. And I saw my, mm -hmm. I had a virtual appointment with my doctor and they would like to see me and maybe uh, do some tests. So I am asking for prayers. And uh, that's Thank it. Thank you, Sister, Sister Thank Joy. Appreciate it. So if there is an... Uh, there's no other uh, things that you would like to share at this time. Uh, I'd like us all to be in a prayer, uh, uh, in a moment of silence as we pray for, for these uh, uh, names. Uh, let's pray for healing to be upon uh, Sam, Brother Sam, a cousin of Sister Lillian who is in uh, Texas, Edinburgh, Texas. Uh, for re, for Manang Luz, for uh, God's peace and and strength and 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 health. Pray for us, uh, Sister Joy. As right now she experiences back pains and headaches. Uh, pray for uh, recovery for. Manang training, uh, Tatang Johnny, to, he's now back home. And uh, uh, also for uh, Ati Chedeng's uh, cousin Sonia and, and niece Angelina. And let us pray for them silently at this time. Lord, we recognize that without you in our lives, we are nothing. Thank you for a meaningful, uh, expressive, amazing uh, experience of your presence in us. For you are the source of strength, peace, healing, wholeness of body and spirit. We're grateful, Lord, that we have you in our lives. So we offer you all this request, all those we have mentioned, and even those that are in our hearts. We know, Lord, that you know them, them even before we speak. This is our prayer in your name. Amen. If you are able, would you please stand and let us uh, pray our prayer of thanksgiving and then our song afterwards and let us do that. Our closing song first, I think we, I, mean, I have interchanged that. Closing song, let us sing our, uh, we are cold.
difficulties to make us strong. We ask for wisdom and you gave us problems to solve. We ask for prosperity and you give us purpose and brains to use. We ask for courage and you gave us fears to overcome. We ask for patience and you gave us situations where we forced to wait. We ask for love and you give us troubled people to help. We ask for justice and you called us to be just and to lead with integrity. Lord, we have received nothing that we asked for or wanted, and yet we received everything that we need. For this, we give.
Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> everyone, happy blessed Sunday. Yes, nice and to see you all. Too. Yeah, nice and to see you. Can background mo? Oh, hey. it's Christmas na daw eh. That's nice. <laughs> Joyce. Oh, I, oh. Uh, I have to say oh, how, what, 